Good morning. Uh, so carrying on with uh, Snippet Pixie next um, development today. Uh, I think we left off um, on the last session. Um, I'd found that Dbus kind of needs to return something in the body, otherwise it complains. Or it could have been that the, the store function needs that anyway. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, okay, so we've got a couple of to-dos uh, left for myself. Uh, return bool from dbus service and then here too. So this must be the CLI, yeah. Uh, to do, remember to update all the tests. Yeah, okay. Yeah, because the tests will be affected by that as well. Um, okay, so I just want to confirm what the error was. I think... Let me just check. I think if I take this out... And just make that an empty string. I think I used nil last time, but I wonder, I will have a feeling that might have been part of the problem. Um, so if I save that, so what's happening is the didn't change that, did we? No, so it returns an error. Right, so we've got in the Daemon, the remove snippet, you pass in an abbreviation, and it returns potentially an error. And that's it. There's nothing coming back um, other than yay or nay, I did the thing. Um, but when we tried to use that in the command line interface, it complained that it couldn't store anything. And there's no way on the call of not then doing something with the call result. So you get a call back and you've got to do something. I think. Let me get a... Um, yeah, just double check the, the docs on that. Yeah, so cool. But I am calling service. Okay, yeah, right, okay. So I'm extending dbus object. Forgot about that. Yeah, okay. Um, right, so it is a dbus object. Let me just double check what we've got on that then.
Hmm. I could cheat, I think. But it wouldn't be very useful. So I think in theory, I could just dump that and not do anything with it, but that wouldn't be really useful. I wouldn't know whether it succeeded or not. Unless I went back and asked and said, hey, is that abbreviation still there? So I do think, I do think I need to properly handle the result, the call. Um, yeah, I think I'll carry on with what I was going to do. I'm doing something, but um, yeah, just to double check what's going on here. Um, Nothing to do with that. It's going to make, uh, if I run the daemon, <clears throat> and then here, um, add, oops, sp something, pixie. That's added one, and then if I try and delete it now, yeah, length mismatch on the store. So it didn't get anything, but I need to kind of call something to make sure there's an error, or not an error. Yeah, so I think I just need to carry on with what I was going to do. That's fine. <clears throat> so, um, debus service. I'm going to now have it return a bool error. So on the main daemon, that needs to return an error, a bill, sorry. Which is kind of good, because I can do the, um, yeah, I didn't do anything, thanks, because I couldn't get one. So here. Here we can do false, because we obviously didn't delete anything. We got an error instead. If the snippet doesn't exist, we can again return false. We didn't delete it, but we also didn't have an error. So that could be handy. Yeah. Um, and then if we do remove it, well, here again, we had a problem. We've got an error here, the right at the end, definitely deleted it. And we didn't have any errors. So that's the that's the goal to get down to there. But this is kind of okay. We can, you know, you could try to remove something that doesn't exist and it's you know your job's already done for you. So that should be okay. Um let's look at the tests here. So here, we now get a response. Um, and we're not doing anything with it. So we just need to make sure. Yeah, 
in the scale snippets here, we we actually we create the snippet we're going to do the test on there. So we can just do is true response expect. Remove snippet. I guess we could do a double check here actually. While we're here, Let's do that. We'll take them again. <clears throat> so, comment this. We try remove um, there's no error but returns false. So we do it again. Just do equal here. It falls from second to move snippet. Okay. All right, so hopefully that'll work in a second. Actually, that's all the debuff stuff done on this daemon side. So in theory, we can run that test. Okay, good stuff. Let's, um, let's do a verbose version of that. Yep, all good. Okay. And then, so we've done the daemon. Daemon's gone. All right, now we need to do the command line interface. So it now needs to return a bill. to put that back. So we get a result back, um, hopefully without an error, and it stores it into the removed boolean. Um, if we have an error, we return it along with hmm. Removed. Oops. Because the move to be false by default. So that's okay. And then otherwise. We just return the boolean. No error. That's fine, I think. Um, 
Um, now we haven't got dbus tests on that. But on CLI, we do now need to handle an extra output. So um, at the moment we'll just dump the result. We don't care. As long as we don't have an error, we're okay. I think in the future we could maybe do something with that. Maybe we optionally display a result or say, okay, it has to be removed with a flag or go the other way around. So that's um, yeah. There's nothing up there. That's just setting up the config. And what changes did make up here? Yeah, that's just setting up the config again. So when we get a remove snippet command, pass in the first argument, we don't care about the result as long as it's not an error. Otherwise, we'll fall through and say, it worked. Okay. <clears throat> and we should have some tests in here. Simple, just making sure, remove fails and remove with a non-existent flag, fails. Yeah, and we've already got some tests in here, so test the snippet we actually expect to be there. Um, should, should create no output. This is all passes. Um, there's no errors on these. Um, long form abbreviation, short form abbreviation. If the abbreviation does not exist, we still expect it to pass like we've just put in. So yeah, so that should be okay. So let's do a quick test on that. And passed. Okay. Um, just gonna make that. Make sure this is okay. Fact. I should. Switch over here. Just do make here. Make sure everything's okay. Fine. All right, let's run the daemon again. And we'll run those tests again. So add snippet. That worked. Remove snippet. That worked. Remove it again. That worked. Add the snippet again. It works. Add it again. Unique constraint, remove, add, remove, add. Look at the database. Mm -hmm. oh, wrong table. We've got a snippet in there at the moment. A refresh, still there. Do a remove. 
refresh the database, it's gone. Cool. Good. Uh, so we now have a remove snippet. That seems to work. Um, that's good. Right, let's just uh, commit that and then I'm done because uh, I want to keep this one short. And remove snippet. Or we'll just do add remove command to CLI. Done. That's good. So uh, next time, uh, so at the moment we've got add, we've got remove. Uh, what we now need to implement on, this, on the command line interface are a get. Um, so it can display, basically. Um, so we'll probably do maybe list, maybe just get. Um, we'll have to see. Not sure which one we're going to do first. Um, if I mean, we could just do list. Um, I need to think about that. Um, with a single item. Depends what we want to display and how we get things, I suppose. But anyway, that's uh, that's for another time. Um, so thank you very much for watching, um, and until next time, you take care.